102.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The girl on the phone for the second date update today is wondering why she's not getting a call back after she was whined and dined. Ooh, get it, girl. Apparently the guy that's not calling her back took her out for a beautiful evening in very elite company, four-star cuisine, nice. and an eclectic selection of beverages such as Coors Light and... <laughs> Uh, Probably some more Coors Light. What? Rebecca is on the phone, and Rebecca went bowling with the guy that she wants to call uh, today. Went out for a lovely <laughs> evening of bowling. Party, party. Hey, Rebecca. Hi. How is it living the high-class lifestyle that you live? Yeah, well, I, I was wondering about the date beforehand, but it turned out not to be that bad, actually. So tell us a little bit about the guy that you want to call today. Where'd you meet him? Well, we met... Online. Mm-hmm. Yep. Was it a dating website that you guys met on? Yeah, or was it- yeah, a dating website. And he actually was super funny, you know, witty in his emails. And then we talked on the phone, and he seemed really cool and funny. What's his name? His name is Will. Will. Yeah. I'm surprised and- he doesn't go by William. Yes. The <laughs> Taking third. people places like the bowling alley on a first date. <laughs> That's a fun date. Weren't you excited about a bowling alley? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have been. No, I don't know. It seemed kind of low rent, you know? Like, <laughs> but, but, you know, I've been taken out to a sushi dinner and had a horrible date. So it's not, you know, I'm aware that, that it could be a great thing. Yeah, it all kind of depends on the company that you're with. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So did you have fun while you were bowling? As it turned out, like, I got there and he looked like his picture awesome. online. Always cool. <laughs> yeah, which was unbelievable, actually. And he's, you know, kind of hot, so that was great. And then we had, like, a couple drinks. Coors, I don't know how you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a good guess. I've been in a bowling alley or two in my day. Were you guys clicking? I thought so. I mean, you know, it's got that, like, awkward first date thing a mm-hmm. little bit. Like, oh, my God, now this person that I knew on the Internet is a real person in front of me. So it was a little bit awkward. But then we had the drinks, and it was less awkward. Mm-hmm. How did you do at bowling? <laughs> well, I'm, I don't bowl, so <laughs> I terribly. <laughs> did you actually bowl at least? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we bowled, and um, he's, like, really good at bowling, which was kind of hot just to see that, like, he had perfect form. You know, I've never heard anyone <laughs> say it was kind of hot to see someone with perfect form bowling. Oh, dude, those professional bowlers get so many groupies. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's it. It's crazy. Well, like someone doing something well. Okay. You know, that's, that's cool. He's capable. <laughs> was there any awkward moments that really stuck out to you? Um, well, I mean, looking back at it now, I guess I could have come across as a little high maintenance. High maintenance Uh-oh. in a bowling alley. So, it, like, was your glass dirty and you asked to have it cleaned? <laughs> no, thank God for that because <laughs> that would have been gross. But, no, I, you know the shoes? Yeah. Yeah, of course. That you rent at the bowling alley? Well, like, a million people have been in those shoes with, like, fungus and everything else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I brought tennis shoes with me and I didn't want to use those shoes. Did you make a oh. huge deal out of it? Because I wouldn't think that would be a deal breaker unless, like, you threw a fit over using the oh, shoes. Oh, no. I, I didn't. I mean, I just said, hey, I brought my own shoes. I'm not going to use the bowling shoes. And then, of course, they try to make you do it, you know? Yeah. Did they force you to wear the bowling shoes since you didn't? No, but they tried. Yeah, sometimes they tried. Mm-hmm. They yeah. And so you argued with them to use your own shoes, uh-huh. and you think the guy's probably like, oh, man. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I did it in, like, the sweetest way possible, but, you know, I mean, it's Obviously, like, there's a little bit of a scene involved if you're doing that. (laughs) At least you didn't, like, throw the shoes down the bowling aisle, like, I'm not wearing these. (laughs) Well, and then, God, and then, you know, then so many people put their fingers in those bowling balls. Oh, bowling balls are disgusting. I'll agree with you on that. Oh, my gosh, you guys, it's not that big of a deal. No one has ever died from bowling balls. I put my hand in a bowling ball once, and there was a band aid in there. It was disgusting. So I feel you on that one. (laughs) I guess you're right. Somebody's band aid. They're gross. I mean, were you complaining about it or something? I didn't complain at all. I just, every time I did it, 
afterwards, I have like a little bit, one of those um, hand purifier spray things. Oh, oh you kept my God. Okay, so I, I guess, yeah, you could have seemed a bit high maintenance if you wouldn't put on the shoes and then every time you bowled, you took out and sanitized your hands. Yeah. Either that or just a, a weird germaphobe, you know? Yeah, and I think I'm not a major, major, but like in a place like that, I just, I really do think through the fact. Yeah. That there's a huge amount of bacteria and fungus like everywhere. <laughs> so he either yeah. gets OCD or he gets high maintenance. <laughs> yeah. You didn't make any comments about the place smelling poor or no, anything? No, no, no. Okay. And it did smell a little bit bad, but I said nothing. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you kept that to yourself. How did everything end with you guys? Well, we hugged. And, okay. um, and then you sanitized your body right after? <laughs> Um, I didn't want to, which is a good sign. <laughs> and he walked me to my car. And then I sent him a text a few hours later saying I had a great time. Love to do it again. Did he write you back? No. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. That's all you heard from him. Well, then I tried again. The next day I went online on the dating website and I instant messaged him and he didn't respond. Yeah. All right. so, he was online. So he hasn't talked to you since you guys went bowling? No, it's been four or five days, but... I just don't know if it's, like, salvageable, you know? Okay, well, let's find out. We're going to play a song, come back, call in and get your second date update, okay? Okay. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. If you're just joining us for the second date update, Rebecca is on the phone. She's not getting a call back from a guy named Will, and she thinks it's because... She wasn't willing to get dirty on her first date. Oh, no. She Only refused to, to get dirty, wouldn't put her fingers in places where he wanted them to go, or oh, put her feet in certain things that he was asking her to put her feet into. Oh, yeah, no. And that could turn any guy off if you're not willing to get down and Dude. dirty in the bowling alley. They went bowling. And she thinks that he's not calling her back because he might have thought she was high maintenance because she didn't want to wear the shoes that they have at the bowling alley because they're dirty. And she didn't want to put her fingers in the bowling ball. And she would, like, sanitize her hand after every single time that she bowled. So she's thinking that the guy was like, okay, you're hard to deal with. And that's why she's not getting a call back. We're about to call him right now and find out if that is the reason. Are you ready, Rebecca? I am, yeah. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Rebecca, I haven't asked you, honestly. Are you high maintenance, though? I mean, I don't think so. I'm pretty laid back, but that's like the one thing. But I take care of it myself generally, you know, like I have the hand sanitizer and I don't make a big deal about it. Yeah, I I guess if you were to be to me like, hey, we have to go get hand sanitizer before we bowl, Uh, that would be more high maintenance than if you just had it and we're doing it. That wouldn't bother me. Yeah, I just have it. I I just have it with me, you know, in my purse. So. All right. Well, we'll call him right now and see what he has to say. You ready? Yeah. Hello? Hey, can I speak to Will, please? Yeah, this is Will. Hey, Will, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, it's a morning radio program. Sounds like he's number one fan. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, uh, it's a morning radio show, and I'm calling you because one of our listeners actually emailed us about you and asked us if we could get you on the phone. Someone emailed you about me? Yeah. Her name is Rebecca. And you recently went on a date with her to a bowling alley. Ooh. <laughs> we, uh, we got an email from Rebecca telling us a little bit about your date and then also telling us that you haven't called her back or answered any of her text messages. So she wanted us to see if we could get you on the phone and ask why. Uh, okay. Do you mind taking a second just to give us a little bit of information on your date and tell us why? I, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. That's, I, I don't know. She just wants to know why you won't call her back. She thought that it might be because she's high maintenance. What? Yeah, she said (laughs) she didn't want to use the bowling shoes. She'd sanitize her hand after every time she bowled, and so she thought maybe you weren't calling her back because you thought she was just, like, high maintenance and hard to deal with. No, nothing like that. She was, uh, I don't want to, I don't, I feel bad talking about it on a radio show. Yeah, but if it's something, look, if it's something about you that you don't want out there, that's fine. I'll let you no, go. It's, okay, it's, no, okay. If it's something about her, think about this. She's the one that asked us to call, and we always tell everybody, you're prepared to hear whatever the answer is. So she's willing to hear whatever you have to say. She just wants to know why you're not getting back to her. So really, like, it's totally just, I can say, I can say anything. Yeah. Yeah. 
She's really, she's really nice. And like, she's very pretty. So she's pretty and nice, oh, and you had a awful. fun time. Yeah, I'd understand why yeah. you're not calling her back completely. <laughs> well, Hell date. All right. I mean, yeah. how am I supposed to go back to her and tell her, hey, he's not calling you back because you're pretty and nice and he had a good time? Yeah. Can you t- <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure how to say this delicately, I guess. I, her, her boobs were just weird. Explain weird. What do you mean weird? I don't know how to say this. Uh, you know, you know that saying, "More than a mouthful is a waste of space." Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's kind of how I feel about her boobs. Her what? boobs are so too they're... big. Yeah, they're too big. They're too big for me. No. You're not. You. This may be the bad. first. You know how many people are going to be like, what is wrong with this guy? She was cool, fun to hang out with, and she has a huge pair of boobs, and that's why you don't want to go out with her? It's just, it's my personal thing. I don't know. Like, I think it's just too big for me. Are they, okay. like, are they fake, and that's what maybe turns you I off? I don't know if they were fake. I didn't, I didn't ask. That's not, didn't seem polite to ask. They were just kind of, like, daunting to look at. That's all. Oh, my God. Like, you were scared of her chest. I wasn't, like, scared of them. I just, I mean... You know, we were out bowling, and she—they're just—they're just too big. They're just bouncing around. I mean, it's just... Are you scared you're going to get smothered by them or something? No, no. I just—it's just the personal thing. I like it. You know, like like Goldilocks. Like I like it not too big, not too small. I just—I just like it just right. I would use a young fictional character. To... Okay, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. It's just kind of awkward for me to go. Hey, he liked you a lot. Thought you were really fun, but. You just have way too much to offer in the boob department. You asked me to tell you. I did. You said that I should say, you told me I should tell you what it is. <laughs> you and did. That's, that's what it is. I, Her boobs are just enormous. Okay. I appreciate your honesty, man. And now I feel like I should be honest with you. She's actually on the other line listening and heard everything that you just said. What? Hi, Will. <laughs> I just, I can't, I've never heard... A man. I've never, I just, I don't even know what to say. Listen, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, you're fine. You're great. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I just want to clarify this, that they are yeah. real. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's great. Fine. And a 34 double D. Nice. Yeah. That's not that yeah. big. Double D is not that big, Will. Look, I mean, I'm just, I'm guessing I'm just like more of a C guy. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's not, it's, it's me. It's just a personal preference. And, you know, maybe like, okay, uh, maybe you wouldn't be into like dating a shorter guy, you know? Okay. Like, maybe that's your thing. It's a good way to put it. Actually, if they have a good personality, then their looks become beautiful to me. But clearly, you are shallow. I agree with you. That's not yes, shallow. whatever he's reducing her to the size of her breasts. He said she's pretty. She's everything that he's looking for, except for her boobs are a little too big. <laughs> but most dudes would do the opposite. That's right? true. It doesn't matter which way you go. It's the same thing. Everybody has a preference on stuff like this. And you know what? There's totally guys out there who are into that, and like that's fine. That's great. It's just just not me. What I don't get is like that you said you felt daunted. Are you, I mean, daunted. Are you a little boy? Like, No, I'm a normal sized person who just was a little daunted by your extra sized boobs. I don't know if you're normal sized or not because I didn't get to see. (laughs) I'm guessing not. I'm, that, I'm I mean, really you didn't sorry. even touch them. <laughs> I know, I didn't. I'm not going to touch them on a first date. What? Yeah, besides, it, it, it sounds like boobs are kind of icky to him anyway. <laughs> I wanna, like, like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, are you again. gay? I, I, I don't. There's nothing wrong with that. But seriously, are I'm, you gay and trying to date women, like, whoa. so that you can... No. I've dated women with very sizable breasts. Yours were just too big for me. That's all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rebecca, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is the first time you've ever heard this from someone you've gone on a date with. Well, absolutely. And <laughs> I would even say that I had an ex-boyfriend who told me I had magic breasts. So, <laughs> I like and that I'm not word. even kidding right now. That's what he used to call them. Look, I, 
I mean, I, I don't know what to say to you. I mean, look, I don't know if this is weird, but I mean, I have a cousin who's recently divorced. He's super good looking and a really good guy. If you're into it, I could you know, hook the two of you up. <laughs> what? You're playing All right, this is a perfect time for me to ask no then. Way. Rebecca, would you like to go on a second date with Will's cousin? Because it doesn't sound like Will wants to go out with you, but I will pay for I a second date with your Look at anyone who might look like this man. <laughs> that is so strange. No, you, you've well, got this. You got this completely wrong. He's super into big boobs. He would be really into you. I think you would get along. <laughs> How about it, Rebecca? I'll hook you it up with Will's like cousin. He's just as shallow as you are. Yeah, exactly, Rebecca. The whole family. You know what the unbelievable thing is? Like how much I actually I liked you and I felt connected to you. Uh, if we'd gone on that second date, you would have been really happy. Because I would have <laughs> on you. <laughs> and that people have also called magic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, Will, you sure you don't want to go out with her again, Will? I love her. <laughs> I, I mean, well, I mean, after she said that, now, I don't Maybe. <laughs> no, Will. You lost your chance, and I want you to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you sit down and you think about the fact that you missed out on a <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning.